presents Public Report, a look at the issues and events of importance to our viewing area. Now, here is your host. Well, thank you for tuning in to this week's Public Report. I'm Melissa McKinnis, and I'm your host today, and I am with friends. I'm so <laughs> excited to have my friends with me today, and I think that you are really going to enjoy this program. In fact, just before we started this, we were talking about um, a way that we have tried to stay healthy uh, during this time of flu season and different things like that and the new year and all the resolutions and stuff. So I think you're going to want to stay tuned. Uh, my special guest today with me is Dr. Bobby Whitaker from uh, New You Body Sculpting and Rachel Clark, who's also affiliated with New You Body Sculpting, but also has her own venture called Taking Your Life Back Naturally, and can I just say welcome, guys? Thank you. So good. Excited to be here. You are. Well, I'm excited to be here today too, and we're going to be able to discuss something that um, I discuss with these ladies all the time. That's pretty much our conversation. And uh, today, I think you're really going to get some practical tips. Um, I don't know about you, but when you think uh, healthy, sometimes you can think so big and all these massive changes all have to happen all at once. And today, we're just going to give you some small steps. We're going to give you some practical tips and we're just going to go over some things and talk about it from a biblical perspective as well. I think that that is really important. I was studying the scriptures this morning in Galatians and the Bible says that you reap what you sow. Ooh, that's good. And I thought about that in our health and in our life right. and that we do reap what we sow. So, um, if you haven't noticed, I have a ton of questions <laughs> to ask, but I do want to, um, I do want to tell you that I've known Dr. Bobby for quite a few years. Her and her husband, Jason, are both chiropractors. Uh, they've been chiropractors in the Southern Illinois area for the last 15 years. Right, and right. so um, within the last six years, within their family, um, they have saw life-threatening struggles of cancer, right. uh, diabetes, heart disease, and kidney failure. And they sought to find solutions without side effects. And I think that that is so important. And their search has led them to the solutions that they now use in their chiropractic office and within their weight loss clinic. So uh, let's just get started. I think the main question today is um, how you got started. I mean, we talked a little bit about you. You had your family situations come up, but what really, what really said, okay, wait a minute, we need to make some changes in our life and in our lifestyle. And then Rachel came along this journey <laughs> with you. Tell me a little bit about how you guys got started in that. What, what spurred that? Okay. Um, well, with chiropractic, there were so many changes um, with insurance and everything. Things were going crazy and, um, with insurance. And, and Illinois, just they, their insurance wasn't paying for up to 18 months. So that kind of opened our mind to say, what else can we do to help people that would be more... Um, you know, not relying so much on insurance. And it was really a godsend because I've been, I have a love for nutrition and health and, you know, all things natural since I was little. And so it just worked out. But when we found some of these products, um, it, it's been really life-changing. And we'll talk more about that, but there's a, a plant called Moringa oleifera, and that has really, like I said, when you were talking about my family and, and their health struggles, that's really helped them. And that's what we introduced to Rachel and she saw some life-changing things happen as well. I started so. to say, if you follow your health journey <laughs> on Facebook, uh, yeah. take your life back naturally, you and your husband, I mean, what, you talk about your journey. I mean, it's, I don't even want to tell your story because it's your story to tell. <laughs> right. but, I mean, you guys have lost a significant amount of weight, but not only that, you're healthier. Tell me a little bit about what happened with you and your husband. You said, okay, wait a minute, it's time to make a change. Well, um, before I met Dr. Bobby, I was struggling. I um, had a constant headache. I had migraines multiple times per month. I had no energy. I had painful swelling in my feet and ankles to the point where it was a struggle to get out of bed in the mornings. It, it just, it was painful. And I just, um, I was also, I had gained a bunch of weight due to some anxiety medicine that I had been put on. And I was at a point in my life where I just, I wanted to feel better and I didn't know how to do that. I mean, I was trying to do some, what I thought were more all natural things, um, which helped a little bit, but I kept thinking that there is, 
there's got to be more. And Dr. Bobby and I were in a networking group together, got to know one another, and that's when she first introduced me to Moringa Olifera. Mm -hmm. I had never heard of it. <laughs> I went home and did some research and decided that I would commit to about three months to see what would happen if I noticed any differences at all. And so I started, and within the first month, I noticed that I wasn't taking as much ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of months into it, I asked my husband to join me, and so he got on board, and we um, started doing this together. And so he's, I've lost about 30 pounds, he's down 40 pounds, we feel better, um, I no longer am dealing with the painful swelling and inflammation in my feet and ankles. I haven't, I've been migraine free for almost three years now. Wow. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big yeah. if, you, yeah. if you have ever suffered with a migraine, um, I had a systemic migraine for six months one time. And uh, that those are painful and right. they can really, yeah, um, slows you down. Like, yeah, they can just shut you down. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah. they literally can in more ways than one. Yes. They can just shut you <laughs> yes. down. Yes. So, yeah. well, that's that's exciting. So you you took what she was telling you. Right. You went home and you researched it. I think uh -huh. that is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, always always do your research. Mm -hmm. You got to find what works for you. Right. Um, and what works for you may look different from somebody else. But right. do your research. So you did that. You came home. You decided to try it. Then you set a key point. I asked my husband to join me, okay? So let's talk about when we get healthy. It's great to have accountability, okay? It's great to have that partner with you. Mm -hmm. And of course, you guys have found that together and then your husband joined this. So you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. You're now how many years out? Uh, we've been, um, I'm coming up on three years since Bobby, since Dr. Bobby first introduced me to this um, journey now that I'm, that we started and will continue for the rest of our lives because it is about a lifestyle change and it's about making small changes exactly because right. we, um, I was trying to eat what I thought was fairly healthy. Um, my husband, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell him we said that. <laughs> uh, but he, when he really uh, started seeing the changes in me, he was like, what do I need to do? And I'm like, okay, first you need to stop eating out every single day, <laughs> start packing your lunch, start making little changes because what I have found through all this, it's not that the moringa healed me, it's that when you give your body the nutrition it needs, your body has the amazing ability to really heal itself. Mm -hmm. That's true. But that leads me, I guess, to my next question is, um, you know, for someone who's watching and they, they maybe they wanna make this positive health change. Maybe they want to lose weight. Maybe they want their life to be different. Mm -hmm. I think that's key. You just want your life to be different. Um, where do you suggest they begin? Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of choices out there. Yes, right. There's a lot of choices. And again, research, find out what works for you. But right. what would you recommend? You, you said you told your husband, okay, stop eating fast food. <laughs> <laughs> right. I you know that that wouldn't really go too well in my house. You oh. know, I mean, it would, but you know, I mean, he saw what was going on with you. So what would you recommend to someone? What, what would you say? Like, what, what's, the, what's a small step they can do? Right. First of all, I would say write a goal down. Write it down. Get clear about it, right? That's what it says in the Bible, to make the vision so clear, yeah, right? So um, and even put a date on it. That way it goes from a wish to here's a goal. Um, now, you don't really know what to do next, so I would get a coach or, and it doesn't have to be somebody you pay. It, it could be a buddy, mm -hmm. like you said, you know. Um, somebody who's had success though, that's the main thing. You want to know that they're gonna be able to help you to not fall into every pothole, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to, to make all the mistakes that- um... Drive by Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll say, stop. <laughs> I do stop, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> not, gonna, yeah. not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Um, but you're but right, yeah. so find that accountability partner. Yes, What's some other sure. things? I mean, do, do yeah. some research online. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there any other recommendations that you have for someone that wants to start? I would say the other thing, main thing to get rid of some of the cravings, pour in good nutrition. When you pour in that nutrition, your body doesn't crave all the junk all the time. So then if you do crave something, it's gonna be a small amount. Instead of that whole piece of cake, you know, you might eat a couple bites. Um, so that's really good. And then start pulling out some of the toxins and de so do some detox. I'm so glad important. that you brought this up <laughs> <laughs> because detox is so important. Yes. Tell me a little bit about detox. Why is it so important? 
Well, it's, there's so many reasons, but yeah, um, you get brain fog, you get, it could be anxiety or even depression shows up because there's too many toxins in the body. And it's another big reason why people aren't able to lose weight because the liver breaks down toxins and it breaks down fat. So if there's so many toxins, it's just gonna stay in that survival mode of just mm. breaking down toxins all the time. So once you get healthier, your body is able to release the weight easier. So yeah, detox is so important. I mean, we see it all the time um, with what we do that you know, people aren't always moving their bowels, which is kind of crazy, but it, it's, yeah, it happens all the time. And once everything gets healthier, you just feel so much better and you can think clearer. Well, and there's there's different ways to detox, yeah. right? I mean, you have well, internal and then detox baths yes. and different mm -hmm. things. Tell me a little bit and more about that. And those are the things, and when, when Dr. Bobby was talking about some of the things that, um, that can happen to your body with the buildup of toxins, when she mentioned um, the anxiety, that's something that I dealt with, have dealt mm. with for years, that mm. depression, have been on and off different medications over the years. Now I'm completely free of all of that. And because once I started removing those toxins, and there is a detox tea that we, we drink. I drink it a couple times a week to help flush all those toxins out. <laughs> and then... <laughs> they have a detox yeah. tea. <laughs> Just saying. Yes. <laughs> and then also detox baths yes. where you... Um, Epsom salts and different essential oils. And it just helps, it's relaxing. Um, we were talking how we each, <coughs> excuse me, did one last night. Um, so I slept amazing. Yeah. And you can actually even with some special oils, uh, lose inches. When you <laughs> that sounds intriguing. Um, dare we dive into that? I don't know. I don't know. If you want more information yeah. about that. <laughs> that. But it is true. I, 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 I love to take a good detox bath. Mm -hmm. and, um, and again, there's so many ways mm -hmm. to be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's what you put internally. Um, mm -hmm. I have found that even some makeups Mm -hmm. have have caused you know me to have migraines and different things oh, right, like that right, so right. you know there's so many facets of that um you were talking about you know the small steps and small changes now let's talk about the e-word because that kind of scares somebody you know scares people like exercise mm -hmm. okay yeah we have to body. get moving right, right. Mm -hmm. so so let's talk a little bit about exercise how does that factor into everything definitely um what was i, I was just reading this morning that we could literally save 37,000 deaths per year by getting people to, to just walk 20 minutes a day, five days a week. I thought, how simple, you know? And so that's what we recommend, just keep it simple. It doesn't have to be, you know, going to the gym and doing this huge class, but just five to six days a week, if you can get 20 to 30 minutes of exercise and, and find things you love to do, find things that I you think enjoy. that is so key, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? I mean, find what you love to do. Yes. You love to go running, am I, am I right? <laughs> I do, what, yeah. What's your form of exercise? I know you do treadmill and... I do the treadmill, but it's also just making little changes too. If you're going okay. to the grocery store, don't like wait until you can get that That's front good. row parking spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Park a little bit further away walk, you know, if you're doing things like that, just start small and then you can slowly so build good. from there. Because the problem is people will, they'll get all gung ho about it mm -hmm. and then they do this like hour long workout and then they can't move for like three days and <laughs> right. then they get discouraged. And then they think, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, that was so painful. So it's, it's just those little steps that you can make on a daily basis. And the thing is, like Dr. Bobby said, is surround yourself with people that can encourage yes, you that is because true. that is so important. Well, um, sure. I, and I'm just gonna do a, just a little personal testimony because I think that that's really mm -hmm. important. I used to, I mean, I work out, I love to work out. I haven't been able to work out last few months due to some vocal issues. I know that sounds crazy, but my husband started going to the gym uh, last year. I mean, first part of last year and has gets up every morning even without me and goes, he's found what he enjoys doing. He loves getting on the treadmill and walking and running and, and, and lifting weights. He, he's found what works for him. And I think that that's so true. But I love what you just said, those small things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We sometimes think it's this, okay, now we got to join this, you know, yeah. gym. We got to work out three hours a right. day. That's the only way I can be healthy. And it's those small choices mm -hmm. right. that we... Right. And the daily choices, am right. I right? It's a, yes, I have two sure. words in my life, and I think you might 
Agree. Simplicity and consistency. Yes. Is consistency exactly. important? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. It's so important. It's like with anything, that consistency, just like um, your mindset is so important in all of this. Mm -hmm. And because having a positive frame of mind just can be life-changing also. Mm -hmm. And it's making those little changes every single day that can lead to something huge. Well, that was my next question, to talk about <laughs> mindset. But mindset is so important. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right mindset. So, so if a person wants to make changes in their life, mm -hmm. how, how do they go about changing their mindset? What's some practical mm -hmm. things? I know I, I, I have to get to a certain place mentally. So, so right. what recommendations do you have? Like, I know for me, one of the things that I do is every single morning, and I had to make it a point to get up a little bit earlier. Right, and I know some too. of us, we just want to lay there in bed where it's all nice and cozy, especially this time of year. But get up, at, even if it's 15 minutes earlier. That's start that one small yes. practical one small, step right yes. there. One small step. And I have a devotional that I read, and I also have a gratitude journal. So that's really good. I, in this gratitude journal, I write down a list of things that I am grateful for. And then I also list the things that I don't necessarily have in my life yet, but I list those as I already do. And I'm, I'm saying thank you for that's those scriptural. things. That's scriptural. Mm -hmm. Call these things. Right. You know, as they are, they not are. as yes. you know, not as they are not right, right. now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's 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 a really good thing. And keeping that mindset, obviously, keeping our minds stayed on Jesus mm -hmm. is yeah. is key. And at, you cannot do anything without His strength. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that I can do all things. Right. You know, through Christ through Jesus, Christ, His yeah. strength is perfect when our strength is gone. And maybe you've tried that weight loss journey before. Maybe you know, maybe somebody's watching and like, man, I've done everything. Right. We were just talking yesterday about, yeah. you know, oh, I got to starve myself. That's the only way I can lose weight. Or, <laughs> right. oh, I well, can't eat any fat. You, you know? have to eat. You have to eat. You know, um, <laughs> but, you know, mindsets, overcoming that and asking God to give us. The Bible says that we are new creations in Him and that we are overcomers through Christ Jesus. So asking Him to change your mindset. And I love that every morning, the devotional mm -hmm. and the gratitude journal and calling those things, you know, as, you know, as you want yes. them to be, not as maybe what you see right, right. now. Right. And, and so do you have anything to add to that before we go on to this next question? Because this yeah. next question is good too. <laughs> <laughs> I just think for me, one of the biggest things that's really helped me, I started for our fast last year actually, was just getting up, like she said, earlier and making sure that I got exercise. Well, first of all, reading, reading the Bible, you know, getting that in prayer time, writing some goals out, and then and then going and exercising, whatever it is. Um, I've actually found through the sauna that we have as a trampoline that I love exercising on a trampoline now. So I'm really enjoying that too. But yeah, getting um, those things in. And then I also am listening to positive while I'm exercising. So that's it's key. Just, mm -hmm. It's yeah. So do you have any like, like specific podcasts or anything mm -hmm. that you recommend? Terry like Savelle. Terry Savelle Foy is excellent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. she talks a lot about morning routines, and if you change your routine, you change your life, mm -hmm. and it's so mm -hmm. true. So true. And, and all those things matter when you change your mindset. You what you yes. what goes in mm -hmm. is what comes out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? I mean, it's the <laughs> right. same with food. Yes. Right. What we it eat is. is what you know. Right. You're yes. the result of what right. you eat. Right. Um, also, um, what you put in here mm -hmm. is yes. what comes out here. Yes. Another thing that has been so beneficial for me is a vision board. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love a I love a good vision board. Yes, yeah. and really taking those things that you want to achieve and finding pictures. And now it's so easy. You don't have to have 20 magazines in front of you. Just go online. One of those art days of sitting yeah. in the library and your teacher letting you cut pictures out right. and putting it on a board. Now you can go to Pinterest, right? Yes, right. yes. Print it out, put it up there. And and the, the thing is, is taking time every day yes. to look at that mm -hmm. and then close your eyes and visualize. Visualize the end, not where you're at now, but where you want to be. That's a visual prayer. Yeah. <laughs> it is, and realize that God God has given you that vision. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And if God's given you that vision, God will help you bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. You just have to, you have to, to be practical. You have to do those things. Mm -hmm. um, this is a good one right here. This question is really good. What suggestions do you have for people that are on the go? Okay, oh. so maybe somebody's watching and they're like, 
I am always on the go. We just talked about <laughs> fast food, you know. <laughs> right. um, but they don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen. Do you have any? Do you have any good practical small steps? Because mm -hmm. right. we're talking small steps today right. to getting right. our health back. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're, we're taking our health back, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. that's um, we're right. We're going to the enemy's camp. We're taking that health yes. back. Um, <laughs> that's right. And, and I, I want to be clear here because I, I don't know why I just feel like saying this, but healthy is not just a, not just a weight loss. Right. Yes. Exactly. Healthy is about being healthy, healthy mm -hmm. yeah. inside and out. It's not a size on a, you know, on a, on a rack. Right. It's not a number on a scale. Right. It is right. healthy. It is, right. it is taking that temple that you have and making it clean. So exactly. what suggestions do you have for people who are on the go and don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen? Meal prep. <laughs> and I know that can be a little overwhelming and in the Rachel beginning. And Rachel could be like the spokesperson for <laughs> Instant Pot, okay? Instant yes. Pot. She could be the spokesperson. Yes, okay. I love my Instant Pot. So you meal can, prepping. Yeah, okay. you can take frozen chicken and like make this in like 30 minutes. It's amazing. Um, I told you all, she's a walking billboard <laughs> yes. for Instant Pot. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. Um, but making um, for like breakfast, because I know so many people are... Um, they're so busy in the mornings. Yes. Making something on a Sunday, like a breakfast casserole, so that way it lasts you throughout the week. Um, you have that, you can warm it up, take it with you. Um, also, keep things in your car, mm. nuts, almonds. So if you have that, if you're just on the go and you're starving and you're like, oh, there's McDonald's, <laughs> I wanna go through there. Um, <laughs> Eat some almonds, and that will kind of help be like, okay, I can wait until I can get to the point where I can make some healthier choices. And that's really yeah. good. Thinking yeah. ahead, planning yes. ahead. All right. Yes. Um, it might take you a little bit of time, but right. at the same hand, it's going to save mm -hmm. you right. in the end. Do you have any other yes, suggestions um, for that? Because I know you do that a lot. You have a lot of things in your... Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know what's in that bag. Um, yes, for sure. We're super busy, so I don't always have hours to, well, and she doesn't either, to do a lot of meal prep, but hard boiled eggs, we usually do a couple dozen every week. Um, full fat yogurt, I, I know a lot of people are scared to have full fat yogurt, but it's not going to hurt you, it's actually that fat is good for you. Um, so we just take that, like the full plain full fat yogurt and divide it into mason jars with stevia and a little bit of honey and maybe you can add some berries or whatever else you wanna add to it. Yeah. But those are quick on the things that you can just grab and go. Um, what about cutting up vegetables mm -hmm. and yes, fruits and, yes, and for sure. having, you know, little things of almond butter, you know, different mm -hmm. things like almond that. Almond butter and apples yes. are a great snack. It's one of my favorite snacks. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things where I didn't realize how time-saving that is because I would try to get up in the morning and chop up some apples, do this, put it together. But once I started taking some time, maybe um, on a Sunday afternoon, and putting some things together, mm -hmm. It just made it my morning so much easier. Right. There is something yeah. about that. I, I loved it. I yeah. do my girls' as lunches that way, mm -hmm. you know, oh, and that, I do that all on Saturday night or Sunday night. And then, man, it's just like easy. I just pull a fruit, a vegetable, you know, it's all <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah. But it does. It helps exactly. us with time, and not only that, it helps us to eat healthier. Yes, right. To make better choices, and I think that that's. That is key. I, I I love a good I love a good meal prep, um, <laughs> and, and a good practical way to help with that is to go on Pinterest. I, I know Pinterest mm -hmm. has got a lot of wonderful ideas right, for that. Right. Um, now you have a Facebook group, am I correct? Mm -hmm. For taking back take your uh, life, take back, your life naturally back naturally on Facebook, where I try to share just you know my journey, things that have helped me because it is like you said earlier, it's not just the weight loss. It's so much more than that. It's being healthy. Yes, exactly. I think that is just yes, the key. It is. And I know new. You, um, you, you guys Facebook. have a Facebook page as well, and you guys share uh, desserts and, and different yes, things like yeah. that. I know, yes, you can have desserts <laughs> yes. when you're wanting to take back your life naturally. <laughs> you can have desserts. Um, yes. Okay, we are almost out of time, so I want to, um, we could talk about maintaining the weight loss, or we could talk about how we find out more. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's touch on how we maintain that weight loss. Is it mm -hmm. just continually making consistent choices? Yes, okay. and, and it's just one of those things as you go along. I mean, I started this journey really about three years ago, and when I look back, I, I just keep getting better and better, and I feel amazing now, and so it's, it's just you be consistent and keep going. Keep it simple Yes. And keep it consistent. Mm -hmm. Any other yes. tidbits you wanna to add to that? The main thing we've seen to help people with maintenance is if they don't crave those junk food things, then they don't fall back into those old habits as much. So that's where that Moringa Olifera is really, really mm -hmm. helpful. 
Um, Moringa is good. Yeah. Moringa is excellent. I, I, I find it exciting. I just got back from Israel not too long ago, and uh, we pulled into um, En Gedi, is this, like this place in, in um, near Qumran. And uh, the, our tour guide, the first thing she said is we pulled in, and there was a tree. I thought we were going to hit the tree. <laughs> oh, okay, no. But we won't go there. Um, but she's like, oh, here's a Moringa tree. And I'm like, what, Moringa? <laughs> really? That's awesome. That's you know? amazing. So, um, so let's talk about how we find out more. How can mm -hmm. they find you? Where can they find you? Can they find you on social media? Mm -hmm. yes. Tell me a little bit about um, where they can find new you. Okay. And tell me a little bit about how they can find you as well, Rachel. Okay. Um, we're at New You Body Sculpting. We have um, a location in Marion and in Murfreesboro. Um, we're right in front of the airport in Marion. 618-998-9333 um, or 618-684-3344. And just newyoubodysculpting.com. You're going to find tons of information on there. That's awesome. You and your husband have really started this, and it has just really been an answer Blessing. to prayer for a lot of mm -hmm. people, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yes, Rachel, tell me a little bit about how we can find and well, keep up with you. I am at New You, mm -hmm. and I'm also, you can find me on Facebook at Take Your Life uh, Back Naturally, and you can message me through there, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Well, that's so exciting. I'm so glad that you guys joined me today. It's so good <laughs> to be in the fun. company of friends. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when we started this program today, this is not something that we just talk about today. We talk about this every single day and finding those accountability partners. Um, I, I just, I'm going to ask this question because I know you've got it. <laughs> but if you could give me like one testimonial that has really stuck out to you mm. um, in helping people. Has there been any person that has just, you've saw, you've looked at this person and you've been like, man, this person took back their life. I know I have a friend <laughs> that's done new you yeah. and she has lost <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. countless inches and countless um, you know, pounds, but more than anything, her mindset has really changed. Yes, yeah, I think we're thinking of the same yes. person. <laughs> Um, I don't think yeah. she would mind us saying no, her name either. Christina. Christina. She yeah. is, it's, done, it's done amazing for her. Yes. Of course, my husband was involved in that and, yeah. and changes. I mean, how many testimonials do you have a week? <sighs> it's hard to say. I can, yeah, I've, you can't even. There's just so many. Yeah. But it's the little things where, I mean, you see these changes in people where they're feeling better. They're getting, they're having that support. Um, their mindset that has completely changed. I mean, there's nothing better than to know that you played a little role in helping people change their lives. Oh, that's, that, and that right there is a great way to end this mm -hmm. program. Thank you so much for joining us today on Public Report. And we, um, we hope that as you embark on your journey of taking back your health naturally, that uh, you would just feel the strength of the Lord, mm -hmm. that you would know that you are an overcomer and you can do all things through Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. This has been Public Report. Public Report discusses the issues of interest and importance to our viewing area. Please remember that the views expressed by our guests are their own and do not necessarily represent the views of TCT or the station.